Hello and welcome back here to another episode with Weymouth on Football Manager 20. Today we will be doing a doubleheader, kicking it off first against Braintree, who are currently top of the table, and then we'll be taking on Rivals, Havant, and Waterlooville in the second game. But before we jump into that, we got quite a few games to go over. Last time you saw us was back in November, and it is in January now, so plenty of games in between. So last time you saw us was way back against Plymouth in that FA Cup first round. After that game, we then took on Himmel Hempsteed, and we got a 1-1 draw in that game. Josh McCoy got sent off in the sixth minute, so getting a draw in that game was a great result for us. Then it was the FA Trophy. We were in the third qualifying round and we played against a non-playable team, AFC Totten, and got a nice 4-0 victory over them. Boot with a brace, Robinson and Williams getting the two other goals. Then we got a 1-0 victory over Bath City, thanks to a goal from Brett Williams in the 12th minute. Then we faced off against Billerique Town, and it was a 2-0 defeat. Just a poor game from us in that game. Then it was into the first round of the FA Trophy where we faced off against league opponents Hampton and Richmond. And it was a 1-1 draw that forced a replay. And in that replay, we got a 1-0 victory thanks to a goal from Josh Wakefield. And back to the league, it was a 2-0 victory this time at home against Eastburn Borough. Abdul Baggy and James Boot getting both goals for us in the first half. Then we hit a bit of a rough patch. Three defeats in a row. First one was a 1-0 defeat against Weldstone. Then a 3-1 defeat against Maidstone. Brett Williams getting a consolation goal for us in the 75th minute. And then a 2-1 defeat against Hungerford. Abdul Baggy getting a consolation in the 94th minute. Just three poor games in a row really hurt our league ambitions, drawing, dropping us down to 5th place at that time. Then we got a 3-1 victory over Welling, thanks to goals from Murray and two late goals from Brett Williams. Then we faced off against a National League opponent, Outershot, in the FA Trophy, and then we unfortunately lost an extra time 2-1. Matt Carter getting a goal for us in the 51st minute. That gave us the lead, but we were unable to hold on to it. And they get the winner in the 118th minute. So, tough defeat there. Then our latest game was a nice 4 nil victory over Tonbridge, Wakefield, Arubade, McDermott, and Schering getting the goals for us in that game. So, as things stand, we are currently in a third place on 47 points. Most of the league has played 27 games. The team below us, Dulwich Hamlet, has only played 26, so they could potentially bump us down into fourth place. Leaders, Braintree, who we are facing off against today, top of the table with 55 points. So if we get the victory today... That will certainly help us out. It'll cut the deficit down to five points and see if we can mount something in the second half of the season. Also in good news, back on January 1st, it was announced that the United Kingdom will not be leaving the European Union. So that will greatly help out this save. There are a couple different scenarios, but thankfully we probably got the best one where there's going to be no change on how we move forward. Uh, we do have one new addition to the team. 16-year-old Dean Tamplin, a left back. Looks like he is fairly decent. Uh, we, actually, we don't have any under-18 players at the club, so when I spotted him, I snatched him up. He's already made two appearances for the club in the league. Looking pretty decent. We also have some injury news. Josh McCowd is out currently for two to three months after he tore 
his calf muscle in the Maidstone match back on January 1st. So that is a tough loss for us. But that's all we have to go over. So let's go ahead and we'll jump into this match. We are away at Crescent Road in Braintree. Okay, and we are underway here. Come on, you Terras. Let's get a big, big three points against the league leaders. It's going to be a very tough match, and this is not a good start from us. Banton dispossess dispossesses Sam Shearing and was through on goal. Callum Ward with a big, big save to keep it level. That would have been a terrible start to the game for us. Okay. Can only get better from here on out. Let's get our heads in the game here, boys. I believe our first matchup against them was a 1-0 victory. We definitely beat them, I could tell, from the pre-match. But Donald McDermott comes up with a big goal. Harry Woodward delivering another beautiful set piece. And Donald McDermott fires it in for his ninth goal of the season. Yes, come on, boys. See if we can add a second one here before halftime. Does not look like it. It is halftime. 1-0 lead for the Terras, thanks to a goal on the 27th minute from Donald McDermott. Keep this up in the second half. Hobson looking a bit tired out there and on a 6.3. And he just picked up a yellow card. You're going to get subbed off here now. We're going to bring on Zubar for Hobson. Okay, guys, let's work this. Let's work this ball in for a second goal. Game has been very defensive. There's only been a total of five shots in the game. Okay, Matt Carter subbing off for Josh Wakefield. And we'll hold on to this last substitution a little bit longer here. Okay, 80th minute. We're going to bring on Yemi. For Baggy on that left hand side for the final 10 minutes of the game. It's coming down to the very end of the game now. If we could get a second goal here, that would surely seal the deal for us. Oh, we had a great opportunity there. Yimmy shoots it in, and it was a huge, huge save from their goalkeeper. Certainly kept them in the game there. Okay, and it is into the 90th minute just about, plus four minutes added on. Corner whipped in from Woodward, but their keeper collects the ball. Just got to hold on for a few more minutes here, guys. Don't do that. Thank you. Okay, tactics. In possession. Time wasting is on. Mentality, we're going to go defense. I'm going to switch you guys to defending fullbacks. And you're going to go on support. And that's how we're going to see out the game here, guys. And there it is. Full time whistle. We get a 1-0 victory over the league leaders. Brain tree, fantastic result for the Terras. Exactly what we were looking for today. And here is the updated table. We sit in third place, 50 points. Brain tree on 55 points, still leading the league. Wildstone closes the gap after getting three points in their game, just one point behind the leaders now. But I will come back in just a moment when we take on our rivals, Havant and Waterlooville. Alright guys, and we are back, and there has been 
a change of plans. The second game, we will be taking on a different rival. It will be St. Albans instead of Havant and Waterlooville, as that game has been postponed not once, but twice. So we are going to be playing the St. Albans game instead. So the game was supposed to happen after this Braintree game, but it got postponed after the Slaw game. And then it got postponed again, both times due to a waterlogged pitch. And you can see it is now going to be in 10 days and will be after the Oxford City game. So that is why I instead changed it to just go ahead and play this St. Albans game instead. So yeah, you can see here that we did take on Slaw and we got that 2-1 victory. Hobson and Williams getting the two goals for us in that game. Uh, so yeah, as you can see that both Havant and Waterlooville and St. Albans are our rivals. They're not our fierce rivals, but they are rivals nonetheless, and both of them are in our division. Our two fierce rivals are Poole, who are a local team, but they are in an unplayable league. They are a tier below us, so there's a good chance that we won't be facing off against them in this series. But another one is a historic rivalry against Yeovil Town. They are in the league above us after getting relegated from League 2 last year. They are currently in 10th place in the National League. So we should be meeting them at some point in time in this series. Exeter City are a team currently in League 2. That is a rival. Havant and St. Albans are both in our division. And Dorchester Town a tier below us, so another team that we probably won't be facing off against. Uh, but here is an updated table. We are in third place, but we have two games in hand. If we win both of those games, we have a chance to move up into second place and potentially just be three points behind Braintree. But let's go ahead and we'll jump into this game away at St. Albans. All right, pre-match talk over, pre-match interview over. Come on, boys. Let's get a victory here over arrivals, St. Albans. Come on, you Terras. Early throw-in in their final third. Can we make something of this? Oh, it was almost there, but McDermott was not quite able to find boot. But promising stuff early on from the Terras, and it's not over yet. Baggy has it on that right has it on that left hand side. Inside the boot. Carter has a long shot and he hits the crossbar. How good would that have been if he scored that potential goal of the year candidate? But it doesn't go in. But we're still looking for an opener here. And Donald McDermott finds the opener in the twelfth minute of the game. His tenth goal of the season. Come on, Donald. Great cross in by Harfield. First shot gets blocked. Falls right back to him and he fires it in there. What a fantastic start to this game it has been. We have been all over him. Let's see if we can keep that up and get a second goal. Well intercepted by Woodward. Williams finds Baggy on this left hand side. Beats his man. Plays it to Carter, who has a shot, and he hits the crossbar again. How unlucky is Matt Carter getting? And then Brett Williams should have fired it home, but he fires it straight to the keeper, and it is still 1-0 here. We have been dominating him, but let's get that second goal, guys. Come on. Williams is through on goal. Oh, and he fires it wide. Williams is not having a good game so far. Needs to get his head in the game and bury these chances when they come up. And that is halftime. We have been all over them. 1-0. And it should probably be 2 or 3 for the Terras. We have held them without a single shot. Fantastic first half performance. But we need to keep it up in the second half. And we want to get more goals. 
Come on, you Terras. Keep it up. Okay, 60 minutes gone just about. Ashley Wells will come on for Harry Woodward in the right back position. But Woodward has one last contribution. He was looking for McDermott, but was not able to find the pass there. And St. Albans, are you kidding me? They get a goal from out of nowhere. A ball over the top completely splits our defense. And he fires it in off the post, and it is level 60 minutes gone. Come on, guys. Not good enough. This game should have been done and dusted in the first half. And here we are, all level up in the 65th minute. Jesus. Okay. Final substitution. I guess we're going to take off Andy Robinson and bring on Jordan Nagalu. Can't believe we are actually drawing the game right now. I'm going to be very upset if we don't get the three points. Can we get something off this corner? It's too far from Matt Carter. Poor, poor second half. We haven't had any highlights. And St. Albans almost had a second goal there. What is going on, guys? We are on the ball, though. Harfield picks it up on the left-hand side. Can you get your cross in? He finds Adabade, and it gets to Donald McDermott, who fires it in there for his second of the day. Extremely lucky that the rebound falls right in front of Donald, who has an easy goal. But sometimes you need luck on your side. Okay, just a few moments left of the game. We're going to go defensive here. We're going to time waste. We're going to be defensive. We're going to bring our guys back and defend. We want to see out this game. We want these three points. And there it is. Full time. Donald McDermott comes up huge for us. Gets two goals. And gets the game winner in the 84th minute. Over our rivals. St. Albans, beautiful stuff from the Terras. And here is an updated look at the league table. After getting that win, we are three points closer to Weldstone. And if we win our game in hand, we will be level on points with them. And it will go down to the goal difference. And then we will be just three points behind Braintree as well. And we're coming down to the business end of the season this is when you want to go on those runs the league title is definitely within our reaches we just got to put in some good performances we want to get the league title we don't want to go through the playoffs the playoffs are extremely difficult but we shall see how things are shaping up once we get closer to the end of the season which isn't very far away at all. Where we will come back depends how the season is going. I'm going to be playing a lot of these remaining games coming back probably sometime in the final month, but which game we come back for all depends on how the league table is shaping up. So guys, if you have enjoyed this video, please be sure to leave a like and if you are new around here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And if you haven't already, make sure you punch that bell so you get notified when my next video comes out. Until next time, it's been your Boyd147.